Hey folks, BC7 here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to Vintage Story. Yeah, this is uh, very much like Minecraft, except instead of Notch having designed the game, maybe Alice Cooper. Yeah, I know, Alice who? Anyway, we're going to uh, play a standard game. It's basically a super survival y mode or, or mod of the Minecraft game style. Um, yeah. It is tough. You really need to watch your food. You need to watch where you're going because you may fall down a hole and die. Yeah, there, there, there's wolves, there's bears, um, and things that don't want to kill you will do their best to get the heck away so you can't take advantage of them. Dear player, the in-game health system is still a work in progress. Yeah, the entire game is, although it plays well. Um, well, yeah, show dressed. Good lord. This nice hair. I think I've been in, like, some kind of a... Don't ever do that again. Oh, I see voice type. Okay. Uh, medium. That's better. Try and get you to sound more like something from Charlie Brown. Um, well, what the heck? They got the hair color right. But I really should be... Skin tone. Here we go. Kind of a... Yeah, well... Eh. That's better. Just, you know, okay. Um... I like the names. Neat Walrus. Sure. And... Nice little soul patch. Looking good. That'll do. Sure. Alright. Confirm. Classes, eh? Mm -hmm. Um, that music's a... wee bit brisk. Hopefully it's not copyright. Alright, commoner, leave behind your old life, crawl into the new world. Uh, okay, no positive or negative traits. Then we've got the hunter. Plus 10 range damage, plus 30 range accuracy. Does better with that, that, a little bit faster. Well, the exclusive craftable bows and arrows. Yes. But, uh, forager, pilfer, for the frail. Gets less of that. Nervous, no, no thanks. A clockmaker, hmm, precise. Mechanicals, hmm. Yeah, there's all kinds of weird enemies in this thing. Blackguard, soldier, hardy, merciless. Taylor. I'm, I'm gonna go with commoner because, well, <laughs> pretty common, let me tell you. Alright, here's, uh, wow. They've started us atop a patch of basalt gravel. Well, first thing we want to do here is, uh, figure out where ground level is. What do we got here? Basalt boulder or something. I need to get out of this area. It would help if one of these would kind of drop a stick for me. There we go. Thank you. So it begins. Whoa. Okay, I really don't... Uh, don't think too much of our starting space here. I gotta tell you guys. Not much at all. Wowzer, man. Really? This is terrible, actually, to be honest with you. I think this is the worst starting place I've ever had. In pretty much any Minecraft game. No, I've, I've had worse starts in Minecraft, believe me. But this? No, this is not good. This is not good. 
good. What are you? Basalt boulders. No, it's not what I need, man. Not what I'd be needing at all. I gotta get out of this basalt mess. You, I do need. Very much so. Obsidian. Ooh, really? Obsidian works as well. Indeed. Hmm. Alright. Shouldn't be so quick to judge, I guess. Ooh, what a beautiful pool of water, eh? have we got here? Flint. Oh, I don't want that one actually. Because that's just basalt stone and that's not going to do me a lot of good at this point in time. Same with these. There we are. That looks like some flint. Uh -huh. And some more here. Okay, now... purple stuff. Okay. Let's, uh... Tin. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of special. Let's open our map. And we're right here, eh? Oh, look at how big this area is. Holy smokes, I don't know what that is. I don't want to know. Alright, so... We are going to want to mark... Tin. And let's go... Red for our minerals. Icon, we want the pickaxe. Thank you, and save. Now there will forever be a red pickaxe. Rat cheer. Cool. Now. And I believe it is shift. And right click. Yes. I need. Knife blades. Now, this is a process called napping, which is a real thing. Now, it's usually involves taking two pieces of hard rock, i.e. flint, shale. Uh, I don't know about obsidian. I'm not sure you'd actually be strong enough to break it. And basically using a blunt end of one to chip away at the uh, E, sorry. Um, the sharper edge of the other until you got it to either a point or an edge or whatever it was you were after, basically. Now, when we first... What is this? A birch seed. Okay, I don't particularly want you to... Yeah, you're just going to come back anyways. Of course. So we'll put you over here. Well, you'll be a no harm to anyone. All right, so there we are. We now have knives. Um, let us also get ourselves one flint axe head. And again, we'll just simply map this out. Now, the nice thing is you can't break the good pattern. All right, like if I hit it here, it's not gonna go, oh no, now I have to start again with a new piece of flint. Yeah. It's, it's luckily not like that. I keep hitting I for inventory. Can't imagine why. There we are. We have a flint axe head. We're going to move you to here and move you to here. Okay, and our sticks. What else do we need? I suppose I should make a shovel. So...
I thought you could nap obsidian. Huh. Plus. Oh, here we go. You can. I thought so. We're going to do a shovel head. That's right. This is what the difference is, is it doesn't go directly to the nap. It has to be set on the ground first. Which is the same process, just, you know, weirder. Because they can. There we are. One obsidian shovel. Now, the real issue <clears throat> at the start of this game, besides the fact that you can starve to death in pretty much no time at all, is that you don't have any inventory. So rather quickly, you want to find a couple things. A good place to live, which this is not, although it's very close. Like, it has a lot of good things going on. But... I need somewhere that crops grow. And... They apparently don't like growing on a great big blob of obsidian. Let's have a look at that map again. Okay, this is crazy, man. There is so much of this. Ah. Copper, native copper. Wow, the minerals around here, though, eh? Are just brilliant. And copper. Again with red. And zip pickaxe. And save. Alright, about the only other thing I'm going to grab out of here is anything I see for food. See, there's no berry bushes in here. There's no bulrushes. There are holes to fall down and die in. Of course. Yeah, this is not a good start. This is going to take me so long just to get out of this particular biome that... Uh, doesn't matter if I take some of these, because I've already got some of these. They're not going to take up any more space in my inventory. And I found a lot more of it than I have the flint, so at this point in time, it makes sense. What is that? Flint. That's smart I want. Ah. Well, there's no guarantee either of those are going to be a better biome. And there's no bulrushes here because that appears to be seawater. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. Alright. I don't know if there's a run. I don't... Uh, I just don't know. Let's just base on stone. <clears throat> well, let's get around to the other side of this lake and see if it uh, is any more prosperous. Like I say, this area has its advantages, but it doesn't have food. And that green bar right above my uh, my toolbar there, yeah, that's my food. The other disadvantage is, is if it gets dark, I'm going to have a heck of a hard time. Hmm. Short grass doesn't do me a lot of good. Doesn't do me a lot of good. Hmm. 
Then it's just more basalt. This is just a very thin strip on the beach, eh? Hmm. That's the only thing you can heal yourself with, but, uh... Oh man, I'm gonna mark that, because they can be really, really hard to find. So... When they're not cattails, what am I talking about? Horse tails. Horse tails, color. Green and the icon. Do you have any medicine? No, we'll have to go with that. Boy, that doesn't exactly show up really well, does it? Oh well. Oh well. Oh man. That ah, butterfly. Okay, this is certainly better than where we were. Fly agaric. Huh. I think that's some type of mushroom. Oh, yay. Nice food. Okay, that's a good start. Blueberries, huh? All right. See, we're still in this sort of basalt area. We need to... Uh, we need to get past it. What is this? Quartz. Okay. Don't really need that at the moment either, but it's a nice break from being in the basalt. Wow. This is uh, blueberry heaven, man. Huh? Still, there's no reeds around this. Uh, That's a birch seed. I just don't want it in my inventory anymore. Now, ideally... You'd 
want to get like a stack of these. Just to start with. And you don't need to cut the bottoms. But I don't count on the fact that I'm going to find much for food. So, luckily the roots of these are edible. So as long as you figure you can spare the knife to do it, I usually try and gather them up. What did I get? Not very freaking many. <clears throat> Not good. Okay, I'm not going to break the bottoms on these ones. issue is, is my inventory is full. So. Hmm. How many of these does it take? Well, it gives me one. I'll take it. Expanded our inventory by three slots. Hey, where are you going, man? Don't go the way on it. Seems to be a bit of a current there. seen one of those before. What is this? Flax. Oh, I can't collect the seed or anything from it anyways. Okay, is it getting dark? It is. Uh-oh. Um. Hmm.
Should be enough grass. Is there a yes there is? Quick tree. There's a fox over there. Okay, that was a bit too quick. Any others around? Not so much, eh? Hey? Just some bushes? Okay. Um Oops. Um, now I need to do a couple of things here if I can remember how. Um, where's my block of wood? There it is. So take the block of wood and the axe. And I'm going to get four firewood. Okay. Now, um, how do I make a fire starter? There it is. I need two sticks and a dry grass. Okay. So, a stick and a stick and a dry grass. Okay, there's a fire starter. Nice. Let me just put you in here. Oops, what are we doing? Get out of there. Alright. Now. Okay. Now we need our fire starter and... Come on, baby. There we go. We have a fire. Ha ha ha. So now, it won't burn that long because we don't have a lot of wood, eh? But, let's open our inventory. Let's take some of these. And, oh no, I guess what I really want, sorry is some sticks there we go a torch okay give me one more good now give me some of these yeah i know oh they make it so awkward. Meanwhile, my last piece of wood is burning away. Yeah, as I say, unfortunately, um, starting where we did, really really slowed the process come on at least give me one of them good heavens oh i don't think i have any place to put it that could be a problem yeah. 
Oh, it's still going. I guess the fire is still a little bit warm, eh? Um. I'm going to throw some sticks in there. They won't last long, but they're going to get me some more food. There we go. Get like two sticks from that. <laughs> Man, quit being so stingy with the sticks, dude. That's it, eh? Wow. Alright. How many did I get? Seven, eh? Yeah, also unlike Minecraft, torches have uh, their own version of durability. They will simply, uh, it's pretty though, simply burn out. And then they need to be reignited. the last stick again so now it's just a matter of how long that'll stay warm as to how many more it'll cook because I'm not going to satisfy or sacrifice any more sticks to it so probably get one more This is cooling at too fast a rate. There we are. That's as cold as that's going to get. 151. Yep. Oh well. Oh well. Cow parsley. What? torches out either. It's kind of a waste. Can this be powered with grass? I don't imagine that would last though, would it? Hmm. Monsters begin to appear. Yay! 
How long ago was that? Jeez. Well, I wouldn't say this is a great biome, but I think it's better than where we were before. We might at least be able to find some food here. I mean, besides just berries. <coughs> Those horsetails were a find. Unfortunately, I didn't have anywhere to put them at the time. And we still need one more to fill these other three out. And then we can start upgrading from there. And we're going to need to collect more reeds to build some containers for our first little house when we find it. Yeah, not a good spawn at all. I've never had to just walk all day just to find a spot to stand all night. Oh well. Um, I think I'll end the episode there. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. That helps the channel out a bunch. And until next time, take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.